Tonight, an exclusive Five on Your Side investigation questioning tactics behind one of Ohio's most controversial speed traps. Five on Your Side Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us. And Ron, you got cited. Well, I did, and in full disclosure, I paid up right away, in part because of what would allegedly happen if I didn't. Nearly 23,000 drivers. What are you led to believe? That they were reported to the credit agency. Less than a mile of freeway. I wasn't aware that tickets went against your credit report. Tickets at least 150 bucks each. That equals more than $3 million in potential speed trap fines in less than three years. It was kind of hard, yeah, because I'm trying to build my credit up, and then they talking about it was, it was going to lower my credit score, and it would be reported to the credit bureau, so I didn't want that. All received speeding citations like this, a program the village of Newburgh Heights launched to ensure safety and cites a National Transportation Safety Board study that found speed enforcement reduces speeding-related crashes, fatalities, and injuries. Mayor Trevor Elkins. These are effective. If you get a citation in the mail, you're going to start changing your habits. A laser aimed by a cop high above 77. And here and along Harvard Avenue, it's generated $2.4 million before expenses just last year. Here on 77, 96 drivers ticketed in just two hours on a single day, including me. And to encourage payment on every citation this warning, subject to formal collection procedures, including reported to a credit reporting agency. And while these citations are not reported on driving records, bad credit can stop everything from home loans to cars. So it's a big incentive to pay up. I wanted to refinance my home loan and, and a couple other things, so I was working hard on getting my credit repaired, and I had been in school for a couple years. So that scared you? Yeah, yeah. And it's a warning Newburgh Heights mayor repeatedly echoed. In all likelihood, what's going to happen is these credit bureaus are going to pick up this default judgment on your, and place it on your credit report. Then again, in this official press release, failure to pay could result in damaged credit scores. And again, just this month, during a news conference explaining the speed trap program. If you receive a judgment for collections, that will end up on your credit report. The mayor says he's referencing civil judgments as a result of lawsuits filed against drivers, something Newburgh Heights concedes it has not yet done. And that could damage credit scores. It could potentially damage credit scores. But we found that's misleading. No matter what they are telling consumers uh, about the data going to credit bureaus, it is not going to credit bureaus. That data does not come to credit bureaus. Eric Elman represents the nation's credit bureaus. The credit bureaus made a decision several years ago to no longer take that kind of information. So the credit bureaus aren't taking data where there's no direct contract that the consumer has entered into, like moving violations, uh, speeding tickets. They tell me they don't even collect this data and they don't yeah. even use yeah. it so in their scores. Well, I would definitely say it's misleading, especially if the credit reporting agency said they don't factor that in. To state that on the ticket is absolutely misleading, in my opinion. So we finally showed the mayor. It doesn't say it could be reported to a credit bureau. It does not say it could be reported to the credit bureau. A citation his own department is issuing. And okay. it is on there. All right, so it's right there. It's a mistake. Okay. That happens. All right. But you told me it wasn't. Okay. I misunderstood. I was incorrect. But despite those national studies that show speed cameras can be effective, we found little evidence in Newburgh Heights. After more than two years, thousands of citations and millions of dollars. Have those tickets increased, decreased, or stayed the same? Um, it, it's roughly right now, it appears to be about steady. There's little proof it's actually working. Wouldn't you have a decrease in speeding tickets? I would hope so. I would hope but, people but would still you, slow but down. But you haven't had that. Correct. Plus zero reduction in crashes. Two years before it started, only four accidents. But after we found 12 in 2016, 19 accidents just last year. Increasing, decreasing, that, you know what? the same. I, I don't have the specific numbers with me here. I'd have to get back to you on that. And, well, and we do. Uh, there were fewer accidents on 77 in Newburgh Heights before your program 
than after your program. I don't. How do you know explain that's that? That's accurate. It's your reports. It's your own police reports. I don't. I have a comment on it. Sure. I, I think that you you have a point, Ron. There, but I would also say that. Do you think we should wait until we have a bigger problem before we start doing something? And while Newburgh Heights does not believe citations are misleading, it will remove any threat of being reported to a credit bureau. Instead, citations now will say only the village can file civil lawsuits in pursuit of a judgment in municipal court. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.